Hey guys, it's Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm here to bring you my TBR for February, as well as my contemporary on round two TBR. I'm very excited for this month. I've got some great picks. I'm in the mood for some special kind of reading, and let's just to talk about it. First up, let's talk about my temporary TBR. I have a couple picked out, not too too many, because I have a bunch of contemporaries for the contemporary time that I know I'm not going to get to in one week, so I'm going to carry those over as well. Probably. We'll see. But first up is a book that I'm probably not going to be finished with at the end of January, because it's the next up on my list, but I'm not finished with the book that I'm currently reading. And that is A Whole New World by Liz Broswell. This is the from the Twisted Tale series, and it's the what if Aladdin never found the lamp? So I'm curious to see what this is about. It's quick, a quick little read, not that many pages. It's big print and tiny pages, so I should be able to get this done in a couple days. I'm excited. I borrowed this from a friend of mine. I have another one of the series too that I would also like to read, but I'm probably not going to be able to get to that one this month. But at least I can do one and finally get her book back. Next up is a book that I kind of wanted to read in January, but I figured I'd save it for February, and that is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lady Taylor. I have the trilogy and I have not yet read them. I've heard that they're kind of slow to get into but people really love them and I really want to read Strange the Dreamer but I want to read this one first so I figured I'd start and finish the series. This was one of my series that I wanted to start and finish that I mentioned in my New Year's resolutions tag so I'm, I'm making good on that promise. And lastly is a Valentine's Day read. I picked this one especially because well it looks sickly sweet like Valentine's Day and that's Alex and Eliza by Little Marissa de la Cruz. I had mentioned this on my recent book haul. I got this specifically for Valentine's Day and also because I'm in the mood for some historical fiction which I meant mentioned in my quarterly reading challenge so you can go check that out as well. This one is a quick quick story. I feel like this is the month of mass market paperbacks. Almost all these books are mass market paperbacks. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is the story of Alex and Eliza, Alexander Hamilton and his wife Eliza before all the bad stuff happened, so I'm curious to see if I enjoy this. It's got mixed reviews, some people loved it, some people hate it. I've never actually read a book by Marissa de la Cruz, so this is a good time for me to pick up a new author. Next up are the books for the contemporary -thon. The contemporary -thon is hosted by Julia from Pages and Pens, Chelsea from Chelsea Down and Reads, and Natasha from My Reading is Odd. And this round, round two, is taking place from February 12th through February 18th in honor of Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is a time to read contemporaries. There are seven challenges. I will read them quickly off to you. The first one is to read your most recently acquired contemporary. Second challenge is to read a contemporary with pink on the cover. The third challenge is to read a hyped contemporary. The fourth challenge is to read a diverse contemporary. The fifth challenge is to read a dark or taboo contemporary. The sixth challenge is to read a contemporary graphic novel. And the last challenge is to read a book that was recommended to you. I have about three books on my list. I don't have a whole lot of contemporaries on my shelf, so I didn't have much to choose from, but they meet several of the challenges. First up is one that I really wanted to get to in 2017 that I didn't get to, and so I'm reading it now, and that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This one fulfills three challenges to read a contemporary with pink on the cover, to read a hyped contemporary, and to read a diverse contemporary. Next up on my list is to read your most recently acquired contemporary, and that is November 9th by Colleen Hoover. I'm very excited to read this one. I read a Colleen Hoover book for the last contemporary thon, and I absolutely loved it. So this one also has pink on the cover, so I guess that counts too. And last up on my contemporary thon TBR is to read a contemporary that is dark or taboo, and that's going to be Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. I don't actually know what this one is about, but I'm... I'm looking at the cover and thinking that it's going to be a dark thriller. So it fits, I think. If it doesn't fit, I'll let you know. Those are all the books that are on my favorite TBR and on my TBR pile for the contemporary -thon. Let me know down below if you're taking part in the contemporary -thon and what you're planning on reading. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!